We are now at question 8 of this CXC CSEC January 2014 General Paper 2 exam video solution. And in this question 8, we are given the first three figures in a sequence of patterns. And in the first figure, we have a trapezium with the parallel sides being one unit long and three units long. And there are dots on the parallel sides, one unit apart. And so in the first figure, there are six dots. And then the trapezium is divided into congruent triangles. And so the first figure has one, two, three, four triangles, four congruent triangles. The second figure is formed by adding another trapezium with the same dimensions as the first. And the third figure is formed by adding yet another trapezium. And what we can do is make some observations of a formula for calculating the number of triangles and the number of dots in each figure. So that is what we'll do first. We want to establish a formula T for the number of triangles in figure number N and a formula D for the number of dots in figure number N. And we do that by observing how each subsequent figure is formed after the first figure. And this is it. A trapezium with the same dimensions as the first figure is added to the first figure to form the second figure. And the trapezium that is added will have four triangles as well. And so we start with four triangles in the first figure and we add four triangles for each subsequent figure. And we can show now how this trapezium is added to the first one. And this is it. And so we see that four additional triangles are added and four dots are added to form the subsequent figure. And so the number of triangles in the n figure will be 4n, such that when the figure number is 2, there are 8 triangles because 4 times 2 is 8. And when the figure number is 3, there are 12 triangles because 4 times 3 is 12. With respect to the dots, there were 6 dots in the first figure and 4 dots were added for the second figure. And so the formula for calculating the number of dots is this formula. Six dots in the first figure and four dot is added to each subsequent figure. This is a formula for adding four dots to each subsequent figure. When n is one, this works out to be zero and the number of dots is six. That's when n is one for the first figure. When n is two, the bracketed term becomes two minus one, which is one. And so we have six dots in the first figure plus four in the second figure. And so the total number of dots in the second figure would be 10. When n is 3, the bracketed term becomes 2, meaning we're adding 4 dots 2 times. And so this formula will give us the number of dots. And we can reduce that formula to a simpler form, which is 4n plus 2. And so the formula for the number of dots in figure number n is 4n plus 2. Now that we have made these observations, we can remove this and proceed to answering the questions. And first part wants us to draw figure four. And to draw figure four, it's a simple matter of adding one additional trapezium to figure number three. So we can start with figure number three. And this is it. So this is our figure number three. And we are gonna add one more trapezium consisting of four triangles and four dots. The parallel size will be three units long here and one unit long here. And we can now add this new trapezium to figure number three to form figure number four. And this is it. And so this is our figure number four. And that's the answer for that part. Let's move down now to part B. Now part B gives us this table and we're required to complete this table. In this table, we are given a column with the number of trapezium which matches their figure number. We are also given a column to show the number of triangles in the figure. And then we are given a column showing the number of dots in the figure. And so in the first figure, which had one trapezium, there were four triangles and six dots. In the second figure, which had two trapezia, there were eight triangles and ten dots. In the third figure, which had three trapezia, there were twelve triangles and 14 dots. And we will recall that the formula for calculating the number of triangles is 4n 
and our formula for calculating the number of dots is 4n plus 2. And if we observe, we see that these formulae are satisfied in this table such that when n is 1, our number of triangles is 4 times 1, which is 4, and our number of dots becomes 4 plus 2. When n is 2, our number of triangles is 4 times 2, which is 8, and our number of dots is 8 plus 2, which is 10. When n is 3, our number of triangles is 4 times 3, which is 12, and our number of dots is 12 plus 2, which is 14. And so we can use this formula to complete the table. And so now for this row, where n is 4, the number of triangles will be 4 multiplied by 4, 4 times 4, and that is 16. And so the number of triangles when n is 4 will be 16. And then the number of dots will be 16 plus 2, which is 18. And that's the answer for that part. For part 2, we want to know the number of triangles and the number of dots that corresponds to n equals 10. And continue with that formula, we have the number of triangles will be 4 multiplied by 10, and that is 40. And the number of dots will be 4n plus 2, which becomes 40 plus 2, which is then 42. In part 3 now, we are given the number of triangles, which is 64, and we are required to find the value of n and the number of dots. Now, if 4n is equal to 64, it means that n is equal to 64 divided by 4, and we can show that. And so here, when the number of triangles is 64, it means that the value of n is 64 divided by 4, because 64 will be equal to 4 times n. And 64 divided by 4 here is 16. And so we would have 16 trapezia and we will be in the 16 figure. And for the number of dots, we simply add 2 to 64. And our result here is 66. And so when the number of triangles is 64, our figure number n is 16. And we have... 66 dots and we can complete this last line using the formulation that we have from before Because when the number of trapezia is n we deduce that the number of triangles will be 4n and the number of dots will be 4n plus 2 and so that's the answer for part B and We have completed this table and that's the end of question 8 and We'll do question 9 in the next video See you then.